Let's see how you do under pressure, oh Yeah, I've been wanted this shit forever I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better Okay, hey. yeah. Ain't no errors, baby, it's a new era I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm Kesha I get to the paper, boy, extra, extra What's happening guys, this is Luce Polga from Fight Division here with Alex Kenton after an insane performance. You said you weren't 100% happy with that. I think that's one of the best times I've seen you. I thought that was great. Yeah, uh, no, I've just got high standards. So I, feel like, I, feel, I, th I feel like it was a good performance, but I think I could have put them away if I'm being honest, but that's one of them. I'm not, I'm not going to complain about a win. You know Absolutely, I mean? yeah. So we, we got the win, we did get the win, which is obviously great. Uh, one thing that I noticed, you were excellent at catching his kicks. Every time he kicked you at Bosch, you catch it straight away. Is that something you drilled? Um, it's kind of something I've always been quite good at. Just naturally? Yeah, I've, I've, been, do, I've been doing this 13, 14 years now, so I, I grew up catching kicks and kicking back, do you know what I mean? So it kind of comes natural now. Yeah, it, it was very like, yeah, like you say, like natural, like it didn't seem like it was choreographed or anything. It was almost just, it was almost a reflex. It was like, yeah. before the kick had even sort of like left the canvas, really, you was like, boss, you had it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, no. No, I, 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 I pride myself on being quite good defensively, do you know what I mean? I feel like I'm, I feel like I don't get hit a lot. Yeah. That's why, I, you know, I've had seven, eight class fights now. I've had countless fights with elbow pads and I've been to multiple different tournaments and so I've never been, I've never been cut, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Touch wood. Or should we get caught next time a fight now? But, uh, yeah. Touch wood, touch Yeah, no, I, I find myself being quite good defensively, so I know I, I, that is I'm quite good, that, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, absolutely. So we won by a unanimous decision as well, which is obviously great. Did you feel comfortable in there? Because especially towards the end of the rounds, we, we was ringside watching, we said like, it almost looked like he'd kind of mentally give up at one point. Like, you was landing clean shots, you were defending his really well. At one point, it did look like he'd mentally give up. Did you feel that in there? Like, I've got this now. Yeah, I kind of... I didn't really know what to expect going into it because I couldn't find anything of him on, like, Instagram or Facebook or YouTube. He was kind of a ghost, so... The first arm, the first arm was quite cagey. So I had to kind of feel him out, and then it got to like, it got like halfway through round two, and I thought, yeah, nah, I'm, be I'm better. Uh, you know what? I don't want to talk shit about him because he, he's a nice lad. I've just had a good conversation with him, and, but I kind of got through halfway round through round two. And I was like, yeah, no, I I'm better than this. I'm better than this kid, and I, I think I need, I, th I need, I needed that after the last few months as well. Yeah. Uh, I needed that, like, I needed that win, that confidence boost. Cause obviously, the Ellis fight didn't go my way, and. Then I went, to, I went to Turkey and as, uh, I went to the Ifmas in Turkey and as much as I did well, you, you know, you don't, you don't win silver, you lose gold, if that makes sense. Yeah, so I kind of feel like I was coming in off two losses and I've ne that's never happened to me before, so I went, I went trying to end the, the, uh, end the year on a loss. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know what? That's a really good point as well. You're saying that um, you don't win silver, you lose gold. I've yeah. never heard that before. I think that's a really good way of putting it because obviously as a fighter, that is how you see it. Yeah. Um, so obviously the last time we were at the Mazda fight night, that was the that was the Ellis fight, so that didn't go your way. Um, is that something that we could see rematched in the future? Uh, is that bite your hand off for a rematch with Ellis now? You know what I mean? I've got, I haven't got a bad way to say about him because I, I, had a, you know, I, I had a chat with him after the fight and I know I know, there was a, I know there was a bit of a build up to that one. There was a bit of controversy to that one. I know building up to it was, uh, you know, I gave him some shit, like, but you know, he's, he, you know, he's, he's a good, he's a good lad. He's very respectful, and you know, he's good. You see what he did to Tom Coon the other day, and you know, he's a good lad. But I'd absolutely, I'd, I'd bite your hand off for a for a rematch with Ellis. Definitely, I, I feel like I'm kind of chasing that again now. Yeah, want to prove a point and get back in there. Yeah, again, of course, I want. Anyone in that, that that top 20, the WBC top 20, I want to fight. So I, you know, I, I got I got kicked out of it. Uh, I, I was in it briefly and I've been kicked out of it again. I want to get back in it. Do you know I me? Mean? That's that's my goal for next year to get back in there. 100. Well, 20. you did what you had to do last time. So obviously, if you if you didn't catch the social media beef last time, like you did what you had to do to get Ellis in the ring, and it absolutely yeah. worked. So this time, if you, if there was a rematch, it's probably not going to be that sort of like mindset behind it. Looks like you say you've had a chat now, you've had the fight, you've been through yeah. it together. So now it's much more of a coming at it from more of a respectful angle. Like actually, I just want to climb the ranks again, and I yeah. want to prove that you deserve to be in there with the big names. Yeah, yeah, 100. So that, that's that's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to. Uh, you know, I don't want, I don't want to fight people beneath me. I, as, I don't want to sound like a, like an arrogant dickhead. And but I don't really, want, I, I want to climb. I don't really want to come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I, I, I want to fight them big names. I want them big fights. I want, I want them, them top twenty. Them, I want them lads in the top twenty. I want to, you know, I want to work away. I want to get into RWS. I want to get onto one. I want to, I want to be, I want to be able to get to the position where I can, I can like, 
changed my life, like, life changed amounts of money life. Like, Jacob Smith's gone the other day, he's on me, and he lives, he lives fucking 20 minutes, he lives over the walls, he lives 20 minutes away from me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He's going, winning, he's going over to Thailand fight, fighting and winning 50 grand, do you know what I mean? And John Agatis, you know, he's, he's, getting, he's getting paid it's well, do you know what I mean? Liam, Liam, Liam Harris is getting paid well, I want to be like in that bracket, do you know what I mean? And I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get there fighting, like, fighting people people don't know I'm going to get there fighting big names and taking risks Absolutely. so obviously there's just been the announcement as well with the um, partnership between one championship and Sky Sports so obviously now for Muay Thai that is absolutely huge how did you feel when you heard that news like because obviously you are looking to climb the ranks you are looking to get to one championship you are looking for those like insane highs and now the Sky Sports attached to that like what does that mean for the Muay Thai community and for your future I, I think it's massive myself like especially for especially for fighters because it's, it's all about like it's all about exposure isn't it and you're not getting you're not getting bigger exposure than Sky Sports. Exactly. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They're the, they're the main broadcasting channel in the country, so to get to get on that's massive. Yeah. And even to get shown like the, the sponsors you can get out of it, and you know everything that comes with it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So what are your next steps then? Obviously, that's we know the end goal. Like you're trying to get to one championship. We want to be on Sky Sports. Like we've got those high aspirations. What's the next 12 months looking like for you? Like how are you gonna how are you gonna get yourself to that place? Um, I was well. I'm, I'm going to have a couple of weeks off for Christmas and that, and then, you know, I'll probably train, you know, I'll probably train over Christmas, so I'm not, I'm not looking. I'll say you'll have a couple of weeks off, you'll have like two days and you'll be bored, you'll be straight back in the gym, no problem. <laughs> no, I will be, I've kind of, I've kind of, after, after the tidy fight, I had a bit of time off before I started camp for Ellis, but I kind of realised now that you can't really have camps, you've got to stay ready all the time. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, I'll get back in the gym, I'll, I'll be running and that over Christmas, staying in the gym and, you know, I'll, I'll keep saying it, but uh, I was meant to fight Ryan Sheehan in February, but um, that uh, something came up the weekend that I was meant to fight him, so I can't go over to Ireland now, but that's definitely something I'm looking for, looking try, like, trying to do next year. Yeah, so, Ryan, I'm not barming it. I just, you know, something's come up, so I'll get, I will get you next year. Yeah. So that's that's um, what we can look forward yeah. to then. I got, yeah, he, he's, I think he's, he's coming down to Bantamweight, I think, so. I know, he's just lost the world title at 55, so yeah, I think he's looking to build himself back up. So, and uh, I fight him next year definitely. I've got a four-man tournament with um, uh, Tyree Stevens, AJ Danani, and Joel Lemire in June. Um, so I've got that. I'm going to Thailand for. I'm going to Thailand in March. Going to Thailand in August. I, I don't know. That's I haven't got anything planned set in stone, but. I'll be fighting over there, do you know what I mean? There's plenty of avenues that you're looking to chase, so, and obviously if the LA Swan comes up again, we're actually snatching that. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm, so, yeah, I'll bite your hand off. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, listen, massive congratulations tonight. I know it's, it's hard, obviously, when we're doing the interview. We're asking, like, what's the next thing is? But the main thing is to enjoy tonight because yeah. you've just won an absolutely sick fight. You said, I think this is the perfectionist thing, but you weren't, like, 100% happy. Like, do you think you'll look back and, and sort of analyse that, or are you just going to enjoy the night now? No, no, I, I'll definitely look back and I'll definitely analyse. I always, I always do with all my fights, but uh, tonight uh, there's no chance I'm watching that fight tonight. I'm, I'm going to the Christmas market to get some treats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, I'm starving. <laughs> so. Listen, absolutely well deserved. Enjoy your food, enjoy Christmas, and we can't wait to see what you do next year. Thank you, Thank you Alex. Let's see how you do under pressure. Oh. Been wanted this forever. I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me. Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Ain't no errors, baby. It's a new era. I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm cash. I get to the paper, boy. Extra, extra.